is the Laugh Time Show. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to the Laugh Time Outdoor Episode Show. Guess what? <laughs> I'm still here. Me, Bobby Lou. He's trying to drive it. I'm Sean. I'm just pastor having a black ride to the, on our way to see a movie that everybody's raving about called Guardians of the Galaxy. We have an hour and a half. Should be good, right? Six, so right seven thirty. It should be good, right? Eat. Yep. Go and eat. We got plenty of time. Let's gulp it down. I don't need it anymore anyway. Anyway, we're going to see Guardians of the Galaxy, or as everybody types it, what do they do? Capital G, small O, capital T, capital G, right? That's oh, the way it works, to be yeah. cool. You have the glasses on backwards? Yeah, it is, upside upside down. Down. What's that upside all down? about? What kind of screwball? Mm -hmm. What kind of screwball Let's get again on camera. You're just trying to be a camera hog. That's embarrassing. No, I'm embarrassed. So we're testing some new equipment now. We got a new uh, GoPro suction cup mount on the outdoor. As you can see right now, we're traveling you can see where we're going outside. Yeah, that guy's going a little too fast. And we have a new microphone, which is a wide area microphone, omnidirectional, so it's supposed to pick up better audio than the other thing we used to have. We're still using our trusty old Roland. Trusty. Trusty old Roland device here you can to record trust that stuff. Thing when it's on. And I think it's recording. Yeah, when it's on, <laughs> yeah. you can trust it. Same Why is it job. picking up some? Don't tell me he's picking up the oh. car audio. I can't really see it. I think it's, it's up picking up all the car noise too. So it's really sensitive. So it might be picking up all the engine noise. <laughs> Everything else might be a little too sensitive, maybe. We'll see. Well, I always like the Trex things when I'm driving. So always, whenever you you do a podcast, you must check stuff when you're driving. That's perfect, actually. As long as you're not texting, that's the only thing you can't do when yeah, you're driving. Yeah, don't text. No text. That's what everybody is in agree, agrees on. Do not text me. Don't go like this while you're driving. Don't yeah, do that. We should pretend don't, don't, we are. Though. Yeah, we should pretend. Like Let's I'm just pretend. Not pretend. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not texting, but I'm pretending that. But I'm not driving either. But well, let's just pretend to text. We're gonna text to drive, and we're gonna go off the road, and we're, we're gonna spin around. Whoa, see, oh, see shit. what happens when you oh, text and you oh, drive. See? see, that's what happens. See, PSA for everybody. See. Do not text and drive. One of my pet peeves. Don't do it. Yeah. This asshole. We can comment on everything in front of us too. The lawnmower guy. What is he? The white socks. Oh, okay, he's 90 years old. He's high. He's high. No, I said he's fine. It's, it's, it's funny. So I never thought of that. Now we got two camera angles. What? We can comment on everything. What? We can comment on everything outside of us, and people will see what we're commenting on. See? It actually works out pretty well. For a podcast. It's always a nice day when we do this. You it's know, not, Dad. It is always a nice day. It's, it's not, and, and the video's not restricted to this little box of a car. We can actually comment on the whole world outside of us. Here, unrestriction. Oh, here we go. Wish I, I had the Lucy thing to play. Look, oh, my seatbelt on. I am unrestricted, Sean. No, you can't do that. I can't no, do you that. Gotta put the seatbelt on until if, if it's a Pennsylvania law. It might even be a federal law. Okay. So we can't swerve around. So we're the cops. Are. So let's, let's do all the stuff we can't do just so you don't do it. All right. Mm -hmm. Or examples. Good job. This is a PSA. We should make a whole episode of PSAs. What else can we warn people about? I got a PSA. Let's see. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's for the Mexicans. PSA. Now, why would they call somebody a three paragraph structured English word or English uh, homework assignment? I don't know why they would they call people that. No clue. Hey, Dad, that. you fucking paragraph? No. I don't know. I'm a paragraph now? No. What is that? Is it an animal or a, gotta come up with something. an animal object? So they got SA. We should have... Let's select one of these. How about short story? Uh, hey, Sean, soliloquy. you fucking tangerine skin. Get it? I'm just trying to put words together. No, not, a, no, not, not good. A off us. No, you're not a tangerine skin? No, but... I think we should go with English things. All right, we should. I can't think of anything else yeah. besides essays, but there are different things. I didn't like. Hey, Sean, things. what's going on with your bookmark, book report? Get it? Essay? Book call report? Me bookmark. Hey, bookmark, what's up? Yeah, nothing essay. 
Nothing. They say homes. What's the what's other thing? Homes. They say homes, so we should say apartments. Hey, hey houses. What's going on? Going apartments. On house. Hey, houses. Just be super white and hey. have our own things. Like, they have homes. So they call people homes. Hey, apartment. Where's houses at? Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah, houses. Instead of hey, man. Hey, no, you can't homes. do a hey, dude. Who came that. up with it? What is homes? De- we got to look at the derivatives. We got to find out where, where this shit came Hey, from. homo S-A sapien. What's homes. going on, homo sapien? Is SA a Spanish word? Is that actually or? It's part of homo and sapien. Ho sapien. Ho sapien. It doesn't even match SA. What am I saying? I'm off the rails. Homo sapien. Sa- 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 I don't know. How I got there. Bing, 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 bing. You're not supposed to be thinking this much when you're driving. It's distracting. It keeps you awake. A little PSA. This guy talking to himself in front of me. What else? Yeah, talking to do? himself in front of me. Us. Green light, dude. Go, go. You're on camera, asshole. Do anything wrong to be fucking recording. You win. You didn't. Me, me, me. All right, we're approaching our destination. Time for some grub. Didn't take long. ASA. Time for some grub. We live near everything. We live near everything. It's never going to be a long drive. No, not here. The other movie it would have been, though. No. So, okay, silence is not golden. Well, when we're doing a podcast, we have to keep see, talking about stuff. You don't have to push yourself to mm-hmm. have some, to fill in all the gaps. That's what editing is all about. That's true. Aggressive it's driving enforcement. Enfor- aggressive Ooh. driving enforcement. Did you see that sign, everybody? Yeah, did you see that sign? I know I did. There's a lot of things you can't do because of that sign. Now. You can't now, be when aggressive. When that sign's not there, go ahead, have at it. So if the sign's up, I can't have an argument at all on the phone. Maybe so you can't be aggressive. First of all, I can't so be on the you phone. You can't so. say aggressive words. You can't say aggressive words. I can't make aggressive faces. Right. Is this turn signal? Is this turn signal too aggressive? Do you think? Yeah, I mean, it could be aggressive. Loud. It's telling that person, I am going left. No matter what you say, I'm not going straight. I'm going left. And don't fuck with me. That could be aggressive, actually. Yeah, that's, I don't know. The subtlest things. Could be aggressive. Me just sitting here, who knows what I'm planning. You know? Right, exactly. That could be aggressive. Yeah, it could be. This won't take long in this place. Totally empty. Come on, let's go. I can't be aggressive or I oh, would. Oh, that's aggressive. We have aggressive activity come from some... I know, the phone. We have an aggressive message coming in. No aggressive text text messages or phone calls or nothing when you're... Now, if you're reading a text, that's not texting. That's aggressive, though. I mean, yeah, especially if you're reading about something aggressive. That's really... (laughs) You can't do that. This... We're stuck on aggressive. Gotta change the subject now. Let's see. We got about 10 seconds left, so... We are going to... We're going to eat now. And then... We're going to see... Guardians of the Galaxy, or as the geeks call it, G-O-T-G. Get it? Got it? Hey, 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 everybody. We just got out of the theater. We saw Guardians of the Galaxy. I only fell asleep like three or four or five times, maybe three or four times. Whatever. It's, it was all, had nothing to do with the movie. We all drank a couple long iced teas, and that was that was the end of that. So, But it was all right movie. It wasn't what they fucking, at least for me anyway, it wasn't. Oh, it was hyped up to be because I'm really not a fantasy guy, I guess. What do you think there, co-host? No, it's pretty good. Pretty good? It was real cool, Dad. Real cool? Yeah. I love the raccoon, though. Rocket the raccoon was the star, took took it away. Great comedy, special effects, you know. It was good comedy. Everything was good. It was good. It, it was, it, it really was good. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Did you really like it? Yeah. Star Wars elements and uh, I don't know, just really good timing with everything. Uh, a lot of really, like, really cool uh, action, like the way they killed people. And yeah, that's good. Really All right. Stuff. What else is good? The only part I didn't like is when they spoiler spoiler alert is when they uh, the chick got, the ship got blown up and he went after her. She was already dead. He puts a little that was a cool mask though. I like the mask. Like push the button and like molds to your face. Well, they said something about her skin and keep keep her alive. Yeah, 
but come on, just a minute, at least a minute, if not longer than that. And all of a sudden she's, you know, awake. Oh, thanks for saving me, thanks for saving me. And he calls the guy to pull, oh, I like Michael Rooker, yeah. Michael Rooker, I just kept seeing uh, Walking Dead every time I saw him. I always uh, keep thinking about Walking name? Dead. Merle? Yes, that that's Merle. Yeah, how about that? Oh, that was awesome. That I liked. He's whistling around his little arrow. That's something different than you've never seen that's before. That's Daryl's weapon, though. Sure that is Daryl's weapon. I never saw... That's that's in the weapon you never saw before in uh, any movie. It was, you know, it went through everything, even the ship. And that was a badass scene when they they all fell down and the ship blew up. That was a good scene. Oh, I liked that man, scene. Man, like, when all those ships linked together, that was amazing. Oh, covered the shit. That was good, but the, 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 one of the best parts was when fucking Rocky the raccoon, or Rocket the raccoon, takes his little ship up to be in front of that big ship. It's going to give him five seconds to surrender. Yeah. And then the way he talks about so it afterwards. Ridiculous. Yeah. It did have good comedy scenes in it. Yeah. They're all standing in a circle. Okay, we're all standing in a circle like a bunch of jerk offs. Now, what are we going to do? Who has a plan? Nobody. Bradley Cooper had perfect delivery on everything. He always does. He has good writers. It probably would not have been that funny. He's good writers. Yeah, he does. Hey, all right. How about that tree growing into all the stuff? How about that tree? He kept saying the same thing over and over again. That was fucking they, freaking me yeah, out. Yeah, they milked that. They, they they did everything possible to make that funny. And what was it? What did he say? Group? I'm group or something like that? I'm group. <laughs> Jesus. It kind of makes sense for a name. Groot. Ah, Groot it's it. funny. And then Groot. So Groot, like, Groot. Yeah, Groot. Yeah. Groot and Groot at the same time. It really describes him well. He grows and he's like a tree. How about Batista? He was a good actor. Batista? Who was he at? The guy that was dumb and that didn't understand things. But he was oh, dumb. yeah, yeah. And John C. Riley made an appearance? Yeah. Nathan Feeling was in it. We didn't know it till the end, but he was one of the guys that had a bit part. That it's a shame he didn't have a bigger part, but. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, get it? I don't know what that is. I don't either. So, we're going to end the podcast. It's going to look a little strange because it's very, very dark, but we don't care. That's what we do. It's a dark time show. Dark time show. So, that's it. I got a Anything you say? I have, to, I have to pee real bad. Pee real bad? Had to go before the movie started, but was that really? a three hour, two hour movie? Okay, oops. Time to pee, and it was time to bed. Time I'm playing around bed. here, trying to get the car in. Time for bed. Play around. Time for bed. All right. We have time to show out. I love See ya. Piss the bed. Bye. Okay, bye. This is behind the scenes, or after the scenes, or whatever oh, scenes. Whatever you, you want it to be, buddy. You're, you're the listener. It's all, oh. it's all about you. Whatever really? you want this to be, that's what it is. Really? Whatever you want to be hearing. That's it? Yeah, that's everything. What does Zelda say? You know that? The arrow. That was a Zelda arrow, wasn't it?